Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be decorating the sublimation dog dishes from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Now these are sublimatable dog dishes so you can use your sublimation printer and your sublimation oven and sublimate them but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use some adhesive vinyl. I wanted to show you that all of these sublimation blanks can also be used for vinyl and other things like that. So we're gonna use some Oracle 651 permanent adhesive vinyl, also available at Heat Transfer Warehouse. I will link everything in the description below. And we're going to put some personalization on these. I'm gonna use these for the dogs out on the deck this summer, and I think they are wonderful. These are really nice blanks. These are really big. They're uh, insulated, stainless steel on the inside. They do have a rubber bottom on them. However, this is not attached when you get these in the box. You put that on afterwards in case you want to sublimate it so that that rubber doesn't melt. So this comes on afterwards, but it's really easy. It's just a peel and stick and you stick this on. So we're going to use adhesive vinyl. Like I said, 651 Oracle. It's a permanent uh, adhesive vinyl. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to use my Cricut and let's cut some letters. Here we are in Cricut Design Space. The first thing I'm going to do is click on text. Once I see the text, I'm going to type in the word dinner and I'm going to go to the font called, it's a Cricut font and it's called DTC, let's see, DTC Peach. Peach Cakes. Here it is. DTC Peach Cakes. This is part of Cricut Access if you're a Cricut Access member. I'm going to change this to be the height at two inches. I measured my bowl and I don't want it to go longer than about seven to eight inches or it's going to wrap too far around the bowl. So this at two inches comes out to six, just over six and a half inches. So that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just, I'm going to cut this out in pink. I'm just going to change this to pink. All right, now let's do another text box. And this time I'm going to write cocktails. That's what I'm going to put on the water dish. And I want this to match. So I'm going to also change this to two inches tall. And that's going to be 9.5 inches wide. If we look up here, that's a little bit too wide. I don't want it to wrap that far around. So I'm just going to go right here to letter spacing and I'm going to pull these a little bit closer together till we get there's 7.8 that'll be pretty good so i'm also going to change that to pink i'm going to cut both of these out in the same color now one thing i find much easier to do is to put a weeding box around your vinyl when you're cutting vinyl so in order to do that i'm just going to go to shapes and i am going to grab a square i'm going to right click on it and tell it to send it to the back so that's going to be behind my letters now I'm trying to save vinyl. That's the purpose between or behind this. So I'm going to make sure I've got enough room around those letters to easily separate them, but I don't need this box to be that big. So I'm going to select on the box. I'm going to click the unlock button and that's going to allow me to move this box disproportionately. So I don't need a ton of space around it and I can move it in. It doesn't have to be exact. So the reason I did the different colors is just so that I can easily see what's going on and so can you. So now I'm going to select everything. I'm just click and drag over everything or you can use the select all button right here. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click attach or you can just right click, click attach. And that's going to keep everything together and it's also going to make everything the same color. There we go. So now we're going to go over to make it. We're going to cut on a mat, hit continue. And here you can see I need a piece of vinyl that is approximately seven inches by 10 inches. So I'm going to cut that out and we're going to go ahead and cut this on the Cricut. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to choose the premium vinyl permanent glossy. If you don't see that, you can just click here, browse all materials and you can search in vinyl. And again, I'm using the 651, so that's equivalent to this one, the Premium Vinyl Permanent Glossy. So that's the one we're going to use. So all we're gonna do is take our Oracle 651, I've cut it down to size. We're gonna put this on paper side down, pretty side up. You do not mirror this in Design Space like HTV. 
make sure that it's stuck. I'm using the green mat. This is the Nicoba mat. I like these a lot. I will link them in the description below. Cricut mats work obviously as well. I'm going to take that over to the Cricut in just a moment. I'm going to also use some denatured alcohol on my blank. This helps with not only sublimation, but it works with adhesive vinyl, making sure that everything sticks well. So it's not just for sublimation. Highly recommend you don't skip this step. You can use, if you don't have denatured alcohol, regular rubbing alcohol works. You could use Windex. Anything with a high alcohol content is going to work, but you just want to wipe it off. Make sure that you're using a lint-free cloth. Don't use a paper towel and that will help your vinyl stick a little bit better. So let's go over to the Cricut. So I've sent the design to the Cricut. We're just going to make sure the fine point blade is in. Hit the load button, it's going to check, make sure that that fine point blade is in. It's also checking the mat. Once it's ready to go, the play button's going to light up. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that. So I like to weed on the mat, so I'm just going to use my scraper and just make sure that this is adhered well. Then I'm going to grab the corner of that box that we made and just peel this back. You can see how that weeding box makes it much easier. I'm not trying to wrestle this whole thing so I can get rid of that. Now I need to weed out the, mid the centers. So if I wanted to save the rest of this, I can just take it off the mat and then just cut around. This blank area, that I'll just peel off. And now we have our separate pieces. I'm gonna stick this back on the mat for a moment, just to keep it flat. All right, so I have my transfer tape. This is the one I like. I will link it in the description below. I'm just gonna take my transfer tape. It's got sticky on one side. It's clear on this side. I mean, it's clear all the way through, obviously, but one side's sticky, one side's not. I'm just gonna place that right on top. And I am going to rub it with my scraper really well. I'm gonna take this half off, separate it. Now I can turn this over. And again, I'm gonna bray it in the back. And then when you're transferring your adhesive vinyl to your transfer tape, it's important to do it from the back. Roll the paper back, keeping the transfer tape flat. Keep this paper back and roll it slowly. That way, if something starts to come up, you can easily just push it back down. So just kind of roll it back like this. It will make your life much easier. All right. So the other thing I can tell you about putting things on rounded objects is to, one, don't leave a bunch of extra adhesive on the bottom and the top. And then cut some slits in the top to allow it to bend. And in the bottom. This particular font doesn't, isn't really completely straight, so it's going to hide it if it's off a little bit anyway. All right, so now we're gonna grab our bowl. And what I'm gonna do is get it so that it looks straight. And I'm gonna start in the center. And I'm gonna push that down. And then I'm just gonna work my way out to the edge. And the same thing on this side. Once again, we're gonna use our scraper and scrape it. really well and then again you're going to peel this back low just like this 
so that you can push up anything that tries to come up. And you're kind of pushing it down as you're rolling this back. And just like that, we've got the first one done. And then we're just going to repeat that process for the second one for the cocktails dish. Just cutting it down, putting it on the transfer, transferring it to the bowl. How cute are these? I think this is so fun. What a fun way to personalize some of these white sublimation blanks or any color blank for that matter. All those glitter tumblers, everything. You can use adhesive vinyl on them or you can mix and match. Use half sublimation, half adhesive vinyl. But I love the way this turned out. So cute. So this is a Oracle 651, like I said, and this is hand washable. You don't want to put this in the dishwasher over and over and over. I have done it and it lasts maybe 10 washes in the dishwasher, but it will last for a very long time if you just hand wash the outside. You don't want to soak this in water or anything like that. Hand wash the outside. You can soak the inside obviously, but you want to make sure not to soak these vinyl letters. You want to make sure and let this cure about 48 hours before using it and washing it or anything like that. So about 48 hours after you make it, then you can go ahead and put this bowl into use, but it needs that 48 hours to uh, cure and to uh, become permanent adhesive on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this idea. I think this is so cute. What a fun addition to the deck for the summer. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to click that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.